what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Uh, take care of some medication problems. <clears throat> oh. Anyway, today we have Memphis DeAngelis. Um, if you guys have watched our show before, uh, you'll notice that we did a uh, an interview with Memphis a few months ago. It was like almost a year ago. Actually, if I remember correctly, um, check with Tyrone. I think today is exactly one year that we did the interview with no. you. Yeah. No. Today, yeah. No today, way. yeah. Today is exactly no. one year to the day. No so, way. Yeah, no so way, we, no way. We did an interview with Memphis uh, a while back, and um, I'd like to uh, ask Memphis a few questions and uh, also introduce his uh, organization and uh, so that you guys can learn more about people with cerebral palsy. Um, again, uh, Tyrone is going to... Uh, put that up on the screen i don't know if that's tyrone or cj uh but um somebody's putting it up on the screen and then you see it's called canva canna cp.com but first of all I, for those of you who did not watch uh the interview a year ago shame on you shame <laughs> on you anyway uh memphis uh how old are you uh 24 24 yeah. and um are you from austin yes Okay, and were you born and raised in Austin, or are you live in Austin? Uh, well, um, I was born in Spokane, Washington, but I moved down to Leander when I was like one. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. In case y'all don't know, um, I I can never pronounce his name right, but I'm gonna give it a shot. N M and M, is that right? M and M, M and M. No, is that right? N and M, N. You know, Slim Shady. Well, he lives in uh, Leander now, so. Uh, in Wait. case y'all, yeah. So if y'all, um, yeah, if y'all go to H E B or something out there, and you see a guy that looks like Slim Shady, that's him. So, oh wow. Anyway, um, so so you're from Spokane, Washington. Oh, well, born there. Born there. Okay. But uh, eventually, like, I may want to live up there, but um, um, it's so beautiful. Yeah. There, and yeah. Oh, oh. And they have legal weed up there. Oh, they have legal weed up there? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Now, is that just medical weed or? or Recreational. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. We have to make a trip to Spokane, Washington. Yep. Okay. So, anyway, um, so you're 26? Four. 24. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do better drugs. All right. So, you're 24. And um, at what age did you move to Leander? I like one. When I was a baby. When you were a baby? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So does you, any of your any of your relatives still live in Leander? Uh, yeah. Oh, um, my dad I built a house up there. Okay. He's up there right now. Yeah. So your dad lives in Leander? Yeah. And what does your dad do? Uh, he's retired. He's retired? Yeah. Okay. What did he used to do? Uh, he did a lot of different things. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. What's his name? Eduardo. Eduardo? Yeah. Eduardo! Hi, Eduardo. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Say hi to your dad. Uh, hi, dad. There you uh, go. Hi, everyone. Um, friends, family. Uh, oh, but all y'all are watching. Um, yeah. Uh, I did, I've been wanting to say something. Um, which is to everyone out there. If you are watching this, please hit that share button on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And so that we can get more viewers. Keep going, keep going. Yep. So, um, yep, uh, okay, um. All right. Uh, that's all so, I wanted to do. Okay, so, um, at what age did you realize, or did your mom and dad, at what age did they know that you had CP? Um, it's, uh, it was, uh, I, it, it was, um, it took a couple of years or uh, months. I don't know. It, it took a little while before. Like when I was born, mm -hmm. uh, I came out. My head was crazy, and but they didn't know what was going on at the time. Okay. But uh, months e later, they they figured it out. Got diagnosed uh, with cerebral palsy, and yep. Um, had it ever since birth, 
Yeah. And um, what caused the cerebral palsy? Oh, just uh, when I was coming out, it was just uh, uh, too tight of a passageway. Uh, okay, yeah. so it wasn't the doctor using forceps or anything no. to help you out? No. Okay, all right. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought that it was the doctors that caused uh, cerebral palsy by uh, using forceps. Uh, so that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. So anyway, um, so at what age uh, did you realize that uh, you were, uh, you know, walking a little different or talking a little different than the rest of the kids? Uh, at what age did you realize that? I, I, since I can't remember. Since you can remember? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this guy, believe it or not, this guy um, has a driver's license and he drives um, and he works for a company called... Uh, well, I do right here. And right thanks to go. Uber, yeah. I was able to uh, get working because before then I was unemployed. Uh, I would do extra work on film sets, but that was super radic. So uh, I did this Reynolds job, uh, bagger, mm -hmm. hated it. And then I was unemployed for the longest time. Job interview, job interview, uh, could not get out there but then uber came along and said we're leasing cars so i decided to hop on that and um turn and they got me on to uber and but now i'm paying way too much for the car so um now i had to figure out something else to do but uh, thanks to uber i was employed and uh, yeah. Nice. Well, see, <clears throat> there you go. He um, has got cerebral palsy, and he's out there driving a car. I think that's pretty cool. You know, <laughs> hey, that's, big game yeah. passengers. Like, like it, it, uh, I'm constantly, like, I didn't know what the these riders think of me. Like, uh, I I'm have this disability. Will they freak out? But I, I keep on doing it, and I keep on earning money from it, so, right. yeah. Well, awesome. That's yeah. that's awesome. Um, so you're working for uh, for another, uh, for Rideshare right now, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Imagine this guy driving up and giving you a ride home. Yeah. That's cool. I, that's cool. I could be the next one to give you a ride home. Uh, like, yeah. That's all right. That's you pretty cool. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> So imagine being drunk and then you get in the car with this guy. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. That's a hell of a ride home. You're right. So yeah. So um, okay. At at what age did you um, start smoking weed? Uh, about a year or so ago. Oh, year just a half. year ago, really? Yeah, half ago, pretty yeah. much. When when I first moved into the ballpark, around like last 2015, okay. or fall 2015. And uh, I've been smoking ever since. Well, what made you decide to, to smoke weed? Oh, well, it, it was actually my brother because he you was the brother, one. Bless your heart. <laughs> he was the one that was like, dude, cannabis is awesome. It has all these ma magical benefits. Mm -hmm. um, it's the magical plant. And then I started to research it and was like, oh, wow, there is a ton of stuff that can, uh, help, uh, can help me with. Like, I can't go to sleep without cannabis. I just realized that um, I just stopped smoking for a little bit uh, mm -hmm. because I wanted to get into a study. And I realized that that plant, I need that plant because it's my medicine, mm -hmm. and if I don't have my medicine, then I can't get the proper sleep, and then I can't work function any day, and then I, I, but at the same time, I won't do as much as possible throughout the day because lately I've been getting to everything possible, film, YouTube, business, uh, right here. Like my days are full every day, right. and uh, I I need a medicine to keep uh 
to allow me to function and there's so many other medical benefits. Mm -hmm. There's uh, uh, it helps people with seizures, like that. There's mm -hmm. videos of people who have seizures or little kids, and they give them see the oils, and bam, the seizures are gone, right. like that. Parkinson's, they uh, same thing. It, wait, 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 did you say they put? They put the weed in the Oreo cookie? No. Or what did you say? No. Because I eat a lot of Oreo cookies, it, man. It's the, I was like, hell yeah, that's what the, it is. Uh, that's it's funny. the oil extract. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like, uh, you don't get high from it. It's yeah. very low THC strain. So it's like, uh, it, the CBD yeah. will help uh, people with epilepsy. Um and then there's lots of other benefits. I saw this one Facebook video where uh, it was uh, this guy who had severe Parkinson's. He yeah. takes some CBD oil, and within a minute, he's all calm. Yeah. No shivers. Right, right. Nothing. Right. And, and uh, that that helps with me. Like, whenever I smoke, I, um, my... I can carry a cup of coffee easier. Right, right. Because uh, I shake less, I'm more sturdy, and you can actually see that. Right, right. It's, it's physical proof. And um, uh, the reason why I started this company is to uh, spread the word about the fact that uh, cannabis is a medicine and should not be illegal. And the DEA and the pharmaceuticals companies that they are they don't know what they they don't understand that it is a medicine and it should be legalized mm -hmm. everywhere and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, fight until we we have full legal cannabis throughout mm -hmm. the country. That is my go. Nice, yeah. nice. So, yeah, I've seen that same video where the man, um, um, I guess he, I don't remember how he took it. Was the drops in the, underneath his tongue or something mm. like that? Yeah. And then he, his Parkinson's, and he was able to move normally. Yeah. Now, why people would not let, um, you know, Americans be comfortable, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. So, <clears throat> all right. So, where did you get this scar? You have a scar right here. How did you get that scar? Oh, wait. All right. That was when I was a baby. I, uh, I know about it, but I never ever think about it. Like, yeah. um, well, did your mom ever tell you what happened? Or did you I, I think on so, but okay. I kind of forgot it. <laughs> all right. Well, Mom, you got to remind him because I'm curious. <laughs> Every scar has a story, hey, so right. that's why I asked yeah. that. Okay, so tell me about this group that you started, this organization. Um, what's it called? CanonCP.com. CanonCP.com, if yeah. you want more information on it. It uh, should be on the screen. Right. <laughs> CanonCP.com. And tell me about this organization, and, and who did you start this organization with, or did you start it by yourself? Uh, well. And, and while you're doing that, I'm going to – Check into my medication. Go ahead. Right, yeah. uh, well, um, the so CanCP is a nonprofit, uh, or uh, we're we're calling it a board profit with a nonprofit agenda, but we're trying to move into the nonprofit sector. And it's about spreading awareness about can cannabis and the medical benefits it has for people with CP. And um, we have teachers on there. We've been creating our own t-shirts. Uh, and uh, we have a mug. We have tote bags. Uh, and then we're going to be adding more t-shirt designs. Mm -hmm. uh, we're eventually going to be selling uh, we got in contact with a couple of different distributors, if, uh, and we're going to be uh, selling, like, a CBD projects eventually as well, mm -hmm. and um, vapes, because vapes are healthier <coughs> for you. Um, 
Vapes are where it's at these days. Like, um, it is the new yeah. thing. <laughs> and it's way healthier for you, too. And you can get cannabis oil in the vapes? Yeah, yeah. You can do oil, wax, herb, anything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, vapes, for those people uh, out there uh, that don't know what vapes are, vape is this little mechanism that it's got a battery and you put the oil in it. It yeah. comes in little cartridges. And then you can, I know you've seen people out there in public, and what they'll do is they'll hit the vape and then you see the steam come out right. uh, into the air. So, um, so instead so, of burning your herb or your oil, uh -huh. you're, you're heating it up yeah. and you're releasing um, the, the good stuff right. from the herb. And do you have a vaporizer? Uh, I did. It was a cheap one. But uh -huh. eventually I want to get the uh, Magic Fly Box. It's the best vape on the market okay. because it's portable, it's this size, mm -hmm. it's wood, it looks really nice. nice. And you put your herb in there, you can just take it anywhere you want. Right. Like, well, let me ask you a question. Why don't people with cerebral palsy or, um, or other diseases that cannabis would uh, help, why don't they move to Colorado or to Washington? Why don't they all just move to Colorado, Washington? It costs money. Uh, uh -huh. Not everybody can move yeah. to a legal state because uh, they're uh, like there's with the kids with epilepsy. Yeah. There's there's this organization called Realm of Caring that's all about uh, helping those kids mm -hmm. uh, get to Colorado and then to be able to use their CBD oil. To, to stop their seizures. And um, families are up, uh, up raising their whole entire life because of it. Yeah. And it's not right. They should be able to get their medicine in their state and not have to give up their whole entire life because the only medication that they have for them is in Colorado, Washington. Right. Not in California, Massachusetts. Thank God for the uh, the election um, that we have California now, but that's still not enough. We we need it to be legalized across the board so that uh, kids with epilepsy and seizures are one of the worst things ever. I had them as a kid; they're horrible. And then there's these kids who have them like hundreds of teachers a day a week. And, and then when they go to Colorado, it drops like that. It's like um, from 100 a day to a zero, one or two a week. Wow, nice. Yes. Nice. Well, um, I, I agree with you about, you know, people just can't just get up and move to Colorado and Washington. I read this article where uh, this couple took their kid to Colorado because the kid had cancer and the the kid got cured mm -hmm. you know he got cured from cancer oh yeah and, that's they, a new and they took him back to their hometown which was I think in I don't remember where Minnesota or something like that and uh, they ran a test when they took the kid to the hospital they ran a test on the kid and they found out they had he had THC in his uh, blood so they arrested his parents oh my because God. the kid yeah so that's that's that is unacceptable. I know that's the kind of idiots that are you know that, that, that is are in charge. Totally unacceptable. Uh, uh, that 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 just cannot happen because right. it's a mansion. People are dying, uh, and because of cancer mm -hmm. and blood, people are dying. Right. And America won't allow us to have our mansion. The only thing that works. Right. All the other pharmaceuticals, they uh, kill them. It, it's so, it's so wrong, and I, I, I can't, I just can't believe it. Like, right. well, I, I read another article that said that um, people who do go through chemo because of cancer, uh, I believe it was ninety to ninety-three percent of them pass away because chemo is poison. But yes. there's uh, it's just the fact that the pharmaceutical companies are bribing because 
They know if if cannabis was legal, they would go bankrupt and they would have no money because cannabis cares, their drugs do not care, and they they would just fly that bankrupt be, mm -hmm. and they know that, and that's why they keeping a hold on cannabis. Right, right. Well, yeah, because um, what would happen, um, now don't get me wrong, I like Crown Royal, but... Um, the other day, I got a hold of some really good, um, a really good organic cigarette, we'll say. And um, I'm walking down by the pond, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, I can't believe the hangover I'm going to have tomorrow. Oh, my God. And then I realized I hadn't had, I hadn't had anything to drink that night. Mm -hmm. so, um, so anyway, so I woke up the next day, got stuff done. That's the point. So... You know, yes, alcohol, you know, companies, they don't want this. Uh, and they do give money and to lobbyists they, to, to make sure that it doesn't get legal. Right. You know, and, the, they, and then the fact that alcohol kills people every single day, cigarettes yeah. kills people, pharmaceutical kills people. But have you ever heard of a overdose of marijuana? No. No, you cannot right. do it. it, it, it it's... You would have to smoke a ton mm -hmm. of it for, to overdose, and then that would still not be enough. Well, you would die happy anyway. You would die And your happy. refrigerator would be empty. <laughs> right. But, um, but yeah, so um, tell me a little bit more about this, this group and why you started it, because you want to uh, legalize marijuana nationwide, and you're not yes. going to stop until then. So yeah. are, are you guys holding meetings, or are you going to have... Uh, Get-togethers to, you know... We're, we're going to try to do everything possible. Get active in the community. Mm -hmm. I just went to the Trump protest on Friday. Yeah. Um, but he's not my president. Uh -huh. Like, uh, and just be active. Uh, uh, I'm an activist at mm -hmm. heart. And yeah. Every day I want to do stuff to make a difference in the world. And that's what I'm doing every single day. I'm always thinking of ways of 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 um uh, um helping people with disabilities or spreading my voice mm -hmm. or getting active in the community. Um, uh, we want to like make pamphlets and them out everywhere. Um, we have uh big goals ahead of us that we want to do the. I I I will not say on there, but um, but if you subscribe to our email list, mm -hmm. we will let you know, and uh, we just are out there to make a difference. Um, nice. Now you started this. Or well, you started this organization with another guy, right? Yes. And what is his name? Rudy Prickle. Rudy Prickle. Yeah. Really? Yes. Rudy, that's your last name, Prickle? <laughs> I want to party with you, mister. Rudy um, Prickle. Wow, um, cool, I, cool. I love that guy. Yeah. I could not have done it without him. Like, hey, Rudy, what's up? Uh, <laughs> Mark and Lizzie, I love you guys. <laughs> All um, right, and here's a, here's um kind of a uh, something that I read. I believe it was Bill Murray who said that the most – dangerous thing about marijuana is having it on you yes that's the, that that's insane. the most dangerous thing about marijuana is having it on you that so, is insane okay that. so um from what i understand in some uh article that i read yes i read a lot of articles <laughs> um some article that i read has said that mar medical marijuana is going to be legal in texas or it is legal now or oh what? yes i just made a video about that check out my youtube channel for that but it's about to hit 700 views. Nice. And, um, it, be, I made that video because I saw uh, a news thing on Facebook about mm -hmm. uh, the Texas legislators coming together to yeah. propose a medical marijuana bill, right. which would be great if we could do, do that. And if that happens, I'm going to stay in Texas and make sure that um, we, we have a uh, medical marijuana here, and that um, uh, people who need it can have access right. to it, and right. yeah, join right. the fight. Are, are we gonna 
Do, are we going to have time to take any calls? I, I forgot all about callers. So it, it, I'm so sorry. It looks like we're not going to have time to take calls, I think. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, if you have any questions, you can um, – what we're going to do is we're gonna, you can uh, email us at thebigdaddyg.com uh, if you have any questions and we can forward them to um, Memphis or you can and just write Memphis directly. We're, we're on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, we do okay. have a call. We do have, we do a, have call. a caller. Caller, hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How's going it going, yeah. man? Welcome to the Big Daddy G Show. This is Memphis. Ask away. I'll hey, be busy. Uh, th this is this, uh, we're talking about medical marijuana, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. So, dude, I I I I I have an uncle, and he's been using it for a little while. Yeah. And I I think I think it definitely is some we need to talk about more. You know. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And do you for smoke sure. or just your or just your uncle or do you smoke when you go visit uh, your uncle or? I, I do too, he, uh, but I didn't know my uncle did until recently. Oh, nice. Uh, and and um, what what does he use it for? I can't hear you. What are you say? Uh, what what does he use it for? Uh, he 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 has some pain sometimes, and he has trouble sleeping. Yeah. Uh, so he he usually uses it as a sleeping aid. Nice. Right. Nice. Yeah. That that's that's my main use for it as well. It's uh, a great, I, great sleep aid. And there's nothing else that works. No I, other sleep aids that I work that. like I that. I feel that, man. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for calling. What was your name? Uh, Daniel. 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 Hey, Daniel. Thank, thank you, you so much for, for calling. calling. Guys, we're out of time. Um, due to popular demand, uh, we were asked to... Oh, I, we, I gotta go. What are you... We were, we're supposed to do a uh, the song that we sang the other day. We've been People have been... Writing like crazy and calling. So ready? We we are See no lessons. A we my whip, 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 a we my whip. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, Savannah. Hope you're watching. And thank you, CJ. And thank you, Aaron. Mr. Aaron O'Brien and CJ Fittenberg and Tyrone, our director. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We love Please you. keep watching. Peace. Peace. I gotta take some more medication. I hope. What do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Can we all just get up on the Big Daddy G Show? Yeah, man. <laughs> Why clean your room when you can do some shrooms? The Big Daddy G Show. Hi ho, what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show.